Here I go. I'm going all in. Come on. Here it comes. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Thank you.
This will be a piece of cake. Hey, we met you in Wiswald. Oh, it's you. Thanks again for all your help. Ah, it's good to see you, Galahad. Fancy meeting like this, eh? Yes, it's quite a coincidence. I only just got here myself. What brings you to Rheindau? I've come to see my sister. I was born here, see? The Wiswalders took me in when I was little. But this is my real home. So you and your sister were living apart all these years? Afraid so. We've only seen each other a few times since we were kids. So I thought, since Wiswall's pretty much back on its feet again now, maybe it's a good time to come and visit. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Oh, she will. I can't wait to see the look on her face when I surprise her. Anyway, I'll introduce you once I found her and said hello. Come by the Hall of High Holies when you've got a minute. She told me once that's where she spends most of her time. Martha, what are you doing here? Hmm? Oh, I just had some business to attend to is all. What about you? What brings you lot by here? We came to meet someone. Do you know a big guy named Galahad? Oh, well, if it's Galahad you're looking for, he's gone to see the graves outside town. The graves? Yeah, his... his sister's buried there. Gladys. Wait, Gladys was Galahad's sister? Oh, sorry, I, I thought he might have mentioned it at some point. Their parents were both priests. They died when Gladys and Galahad were only little. Galahad was sent away to live with relatives in Wiswold, and 
glad he stayed here. That must have been tough. Yeah, and now Gladys is gone too, and, well, I didn't have much choice but to tell him, but, oh, it was awful. Second I said it, he just burst into tears right there in front of everyone. Wow. I hope he's okay. Me too. We should go and check on him. I'd come home sooner. Galahad. Martha told me everything. How Gladys threw her life away because she felt so bad about what she'd done. How she was all alone, tortured by guilt, with no one there to help her. <sighs> Sorry. C can you leave me alone for a bit? We... We know you want to be by yourself right now, but... We were worried about... Go away, I said. Leave me alone. I guess nothing we say is gonna help when he's feeling like that. <sighs> Probably not. <sighs> Those who lost family to the judgments might not be able to forgive Gladys for what she did. But she helped people too, when Holograd invaded. Perhaps if we spoke with those she helped, we might learn something that would be of comfort to Galahad. Yeah, it's worth a try, at least. Gladys and Galahad's parents were both priests. Very good priests. But then they got dragged into all the fuss over the fairies and the judgments and... Well, Gladys came to see it as the fairies' fault. With the help of Helio's honeyed words, of course. She can't be blamed for what she did. And bitterness and grudge-bearing will only bring us more pain. They certainly won't bring my Margaret back. Gladys was the one who dragged my wife off so they could put her on trial as a fairy. All because she missed one stupid town meeting. I told them she was sick, but no one would listen. They said the fact she couldn't face them all proved she was a fairy. I mean, I know Gladys was only doing what Helio told her, but is that really an excuse? Doesn't matter now, though. She got her just desserts.
Gladys, oh, scared stiff of her I was. But she certainly saved our bacon back when the Hologradis came. She stood there and faced the lot of them down, all on her own. And if she hadn't, I wouldn't be standing here today. I, uh, I hope she's at peace now, even after everything she did. After all, we might not have a home to speak of if it weren't for her. Gladys was sorry for what she did, more than we can ever know. I grew up with her. I know what she was like deep down. That's what makes it so, so sad. Just as she realized how wrong she'd been, just as she was about to start making amends, she had to go and... I understand how Galahad feels. I still can't quite believe it myself. There's so much I still want to talk to her about. So many things I want to ask her. I put flowers on her grave once in a while. Stop by for a little chat, you know? But gravestones don't talk back, do they? I... There's just so... Oh, sorry. Well, not everyone has fond memories of Gladys, that's for certain. No, but some of them weren't so bad. Some people even seemed a little sorry she's gone. Indeed. It may be small comfort to Galahad, but I think we should go and tell him what we've learned, don't you? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it'll help Gladys rest a little easier, too. Hey, Galahad. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Aye, but if we leave you alone much longer, you'll freeze to death out here. And so are if I do. It's not like I've got much left to live for. I let my sister die all alone with a whole town hating her. I'm sorry, Galahad. I can't imagine how you must feel. But please... Look. Gladys, I'm only alive today because you stood up for us. I... I hope you're sleeping peacefully. I could never hate you, Gladys. No matter what you did. I hope you know that. You're the one whose wife was... Carted off to her death by Gladys. Yes. Yes, I am. And if she'd only stopped to listen to our side of the story, things might have turned out differently. Lord knows I've hated her for that. Hated and hated. Ah! But what good does hating do? Doesn't make you feel any better, that's for certain. I can carry on banging my head against that brick wall, but all it'll get me is a sore head. So I've come here to pray. To pray that you find your way to... wherever it is you're going. Gladys' sins were many. Of that there is no doubt. But by the end, she had recognized them. And she had begun to make amends. Who are we to judge one brave enough to take the first steps on the road to redemption? And what does such judgment gain us? 
little in the end, save to delay the healing of a wound. If we are to move forward, to heal, then we must choose forgiveness. Wait, look. There's something written on our headstone. Hmm? Listen to this. Here lies one who died, that the many might live. I. It was not I who asked that this inscription be made. It was the people of the town. Gladys was a hero, and that's how she'll be remembered. So you... You don't all hate her? I thought she'd been thrown in a hole out here and left to rot. Look around you, Galahad. This is no place of dishonor. This is where our most cherished are laid to rest. Your own parents among them. I don't think they'd bury someone they hated out here. No, I... I suppose not. Oh, Gladys. I'm sorry to have been such a bother. I guess you're going home to Wiswald now? I am. There's things I need to be getting back to. I see. And Gladys would have my guts for garters if I went and neglected my duties. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> she always was a handful. <laughs> anyway, I'll be getting on. Maybe see you again if you're ever in Wiswald. I like that. Look after yourself, Galahad. Hardly worth the 
Kolejkowe. We must make the most of this opportunity. Here I go. Ah. 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 Oh, don't take it Hardly personally. Worth the bother.
convert them. Want to see what I can really do? Did you see that? I'm amazing. This will not take long. Want to see what I can really do? Trump cards.
You've been to Rain Dow before, Adele. What's good to eat round these parts? Let's see. Well, I seem to remember the roast snow elk being pretty good. Ah, now that does sound tasty. One plate of your finest snow elk, if you will, good sir. Sorry, I'd love to dish you up some, but snow elk can't be found for love no money these days. I can do you a nice bit of Alp swine, though. Not any good to you? Uh, Alp swine? If that's all they have, we should probably give it a try, don't you think? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hang on, hang, hang on. Can we maybe give the Alp swine a miss? Huh? Why? Well, it's just. it's. you know, just a bit. um. why? It's just a bit sad that we'd be commemorating our visit with a plate of something so uh, basic, you know. Uh, nope. What are you even talking about? Look, it, it doesn't matter. Let's just agree we won't be eating any Alp swine, all right? If you don't like it, you can just say, you know. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just it's a very particular flavour, and I'm not always in the mood for it, that's all. Well, in the absence of any other options, we may have to... No, stop! I can't do it, please! Anything but Alp Swain. What are you, four years old? You really don't have anything else? Sorry, love. Not since the snow elk up and left for who knows where. It's a bit of a problem, actually. Their hides are what we make our clothes out of to keep the cold at bay, see? And while it's been getting that bit warmer these past few years, it's not exactly tropical around by here just yet. So, if you do happen to see any while you're out in your travels, you let us know, won't you? We'll make it worth your while, I promise. With a nice plate of venison, you mean? <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Hey, come on, gang! Let's get deer stalking! You're really that desperate to avoid the Alp swine? Don't be silly, you heard the man. If we don't go and find some of these snow elk, all of Rheimdall's gonna freeze to death. Yeah, I do kind of feel like we should go and see what we can find. That's the spirit. How hard can it be to sniff out a couple of elk, right? Come on, let's get to it. The snow used to be so much deeper around here. Guess it really has been getting warmer. Guess so. Everyone, over here! What is it, Gloria? Look at these footprints. They're enormous. Too big to have been made by a bear, even. What was that? Okay, this will be the lad who left those footprints. He's a big old unit, eh? Damn it! Look out, everyone! We'll not even break a sweat with this one. Time to play my Found trump your card. Achilles team. Oh, I'm ready for this! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
was that thing? It looked like a bear, but some kind of monster version, I guess. Perhaps it was what caused all the snow elk to disappear. Could be. Wonder where it came from. Maybe our friend the innkeeper knows. Shall we go and ask him? Yes, I think we should. Let's head back to town. You clobbered some kind of giant bear-like beastie, is it? Hmm. Nah. Can't have been. Can't have been what? Well, there's a legend we have, see, about a creature called the Moon Guzzler. And you're saying that's the monster which attacked us? You never know. The story goes that this whole area was once all green forests and grassland, and the Moon Guzzler was the scourge of just about everyone. The beast was insatiable, roaming the land, devouring anything and everything. Nothing and nobody was safe. The Lord of Dragons tried to reason with it, but to no avail. And when reason failed, he tried to drive it away by force. But the creature proved unstoppable. In the end, our Lord and Master had no choice but to exploit the beast's one weakness. The cold. And so the land was wrapped in snow and ice. That's how Rheindal and everything around it came to be how it is today. At least, that's what the legends say. And you really think the thing we fought was the monster from your story? Can't say for certain, but based on your description, I'd say it might have been. Could be that things thawing out a bit has brought the old beastie back. I mean, it was tough, but legendary monster tough? I'm not so sure. Well, it's only just woken up after a long old sleep, innit? Stands to reason it wouldn't be at its best. Either way, maybe now you got rid of it, a snow elk or two might come sniffing back around. Pop by next time you're in town. I might just have a roast for you that'll knock your socks off. Sounds good to me. We'll be here with bells on. In the meantime, I guess we'll have to settle for Alps wine, huh? Uh, we... well? Of course. We can't very well turn our noses up at the only thing on offer. Give me strength!
Hey, Gloria. You need anything from Tao? I was just about to head out, so... <sighs> Gloria? Hey, Gloria! Hmm? Oh, forgive me, Adele. Were you talking to me? <laughs> wow, you completely zoned out there. Are you tired or something? Oh, no, I'm fine. I was just thinking, that's all. Thinking, huh? Hmm. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Look, I don't know what's bugging you, but you need to snap out of it, and fast. You keep frowning like that for much longer, and you'll be stuck that way for good. How about you try to relax a little, hmm? Just this once. Tell you what, why don't we do something to take your mind off of things? Take my mind off of... Oh no, I couldn't possibly. What you can't possibly do is be so dang serious your whole life. You have to learn to let your hair down once in a while. If you don't, you'll be burned out before you know it. Fine. What would you suggest? Well, we need to, you know, think of something you like to do. Do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? No, I... Uh... Don't give me that. You must like doing something. Is singing? Dancing, maybe? Well, I am a princess. I have been trained in the arts of singing and dancing, and music and poetry and painting. As to whether I enjoy them... Oh, fine. Which of those were you best at? Well, I... I suppose if you were to insist on an answer, I would have to say painting. All right, then a painting we will go. I'm not bad with a brush myself. What say we have ourselves a little competition? Really? Here? Sure. But we'll need some paints first. Let's go find us some pigment. Ought to be enough. Time to get painting. Very well, but can we really afford to be wasting our time on such frivolities? You bet we can. Come on, Princess Fusty Pants. Back to the inn. <laughs> Miss out on a chance to show off my skills? Not likely.
All right, let's get to work. You ready? I think so, yes. But what are we going to paint? Yeah, good question. Hey, sailor boy, come model for us. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. Strike a pose, kid. I'm about to make you famous. Uh, okay. So, you learned how to paint back when you were growing up at the palace, huh? Did they have a famous artist come teach you or something? No. Actually, Sir Sloane was my teacher. What? Wow, that's not what I expected to hear. He was no professional, of course, but he really was rather talented. He often painted the views from the palace, and when I saw him at work, I knew I wanted him to teach me. Wow. Stop. You mustn't move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Hmm. She's really into this, which means my plan is working. <sighs> How much longer? And I'm done. Yes, that ought to do for me as well. So, I can move now? Yep. Why don't you come take a look at what we made of you? I'm afraid I'm rather rusty. It's certainly not my best work. Let's see. Whoa, Gloria, this is amazing. I think you might have made him look a little cooler than in real life, but yeah, that is pretty good. Let's see yours, Adele. Uh... It's, um... It's certainly unique, but this one's a clear win for Gloria. Sorry. Hey, I'm a little rusty myself, you know. And what am I supposed to do with a model like you? I'm not a miracle worker. Oh, so it's my fault now? No, it's just... I'm more of a landscape artist, you know? Yeah, show me some good scenery and I'll blow your mind. Well, we have plenty of paint left. Perhaps we should find somewhere with a nice view and see what we can come up with. Not for competition's sake, you understand. I'd simply like to try. Oh, it is on. Time for round two. The landscaping. Let's find us that view.
Bingo! This is perfect! What do you think? The view's something else, right? Yes, it's wonderful! I had no idea there were places like this so close to town. Oh, can you hear that? It's the lake saying, Paint me, please, Adele! Paint me! Uh, yeah. It's a pretty good spot. Well, shall we? Let's do this. Prepare to be a brushed princess. So, what kind of paintings did you used to do back home, Gloria? <laughs> Whoa, that's some serious concentration right there. Yup. I'd say we've successfully taken her mind off things for sure. There. All done. Wow, this is just amazing, Gloria. You have a real talent. Yeah. The scenery, the water. You captured it all perfectly. It almost looks real. I can't believe you're an amazing artist on top of everything else. Oh no, I only ever learned the basics, honestly. All right, Adele, show me what you got. Wait, is this even finished? What's that supposed to mean? Yes, it's finished. You don't like it? But, no, I... it's... Wait, it's kind of... abstract, right? That's why it looks this way? I think it's wonderful and completely unique. Well done, Adele. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Did all this painting take your mind off things or not? Oh, yes. I feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Thank you so much, Adele. Oh, I didn't really do anything. Wait, you're not sore about losing? Oh, the competition thing was just for fun. I've done what I set out to do. Now I guess it's time we were heading back. Sure, let's get going. Travelers, aren't you? You didn't happen to see a merchant looking a bit lost on your way here, did you? We're business partners, you see, but I can't find him anywhere. He's probably looking for me, too, somewhere. Sorry, but I don't think we've run into anyone like that. Great! Our big important meeting's due to start any minute, and it looks like he's not going to make it. And he was so excited about this supposed wonder product he'd found over in Wizwald. I can't help fearing the worst. The last place I remember seeing him is in the Wayward Woods. The Wayward Woods? Uh-oh. Oh, now 
I've really got myself worried. I'd better go and look for him. Wait, but what if he turns up here while I'm gone? Listen, can you go and find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. Sure. It's probably for the best anyway. But we'll be right back. No sign of our guy here, but there's plenty of places to get lost around these parts. Uh, help! Somebody help me! That doesn't sound good. It came from over there. Quickly! Help me! There he is! Hey, are you okay? Don't worry, we're here to help. I almost feel sorry for you. Let me at him! Time to play my trump cards. I hate you for this!
thanks. Are you the merchant with the Wiswold connection? Your friend asked us to come find you. He did? Well, thank goodness you managed to track me down. You really got me out of a jam there. I, I couldn't find my way out, and then those monsters started chasing me. Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. You know why they call it the Wayward Woods, right? Oh, I do now. What a place. There I was, trying my best to get out, only to keep ending up back in the same spot. Oh, sounds like you've had quite the scare. Well, you're all right now. Come on, let's get you back to town. So you found him then? Yeah, and not a moment too soon. 
He was about to get eaten by monsters. He's not joking. If this lot hadn't happened along when they did, I'd have been a goner for sure. Oh, you had me worried. I turned around and suddenly you were gone. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I was right with you the whole time, and then I looked up and you just weren't there. Those wayward woods are rotten though, aren't they? It's like they're designed to be deliberately confusing. Well, anyway, you're both here now, and in one piece too. We are indeed. Thanks again. I owe you more than words can say. Right, are you ready for this meeting? Oh, you bet.
We've got the upper hand, guys. Let me at him. Okay. Uh, I'm going all in. Very well. Just getting started here. Yeah. 